Hello, I'm Carrie with Adornament Designs, and today we are going to make a crazy chicken. These were my most popular seller from my last show, and I actually sold out, so we're going to make some more. So we're going to start out with our core batting for needle felting, and we're just going to roll it into a tube that is thicker on one end and you just stab your tube until it gets nice and firm and you just keep rolling it and rolling it around stabbing from every direction and this gets it nice and cylindrical and firm on every side so just keep stabbing Also make sure to stab the bottom of your tube to make sure to get that flat and firm also so that it will stand up a little bit. Once you've got your inside cylinder all nice and firm, you're going to want to add some more batting to the bottom of your chicken to get that a uh, little fatter and taper that up towards the head and keep it fatter at the bottom. So you get a sort of a really nice uh, triangular uh, effect to your rooster. Just keep stabbing away at that uh, in a nice circular motion around and around the center core of your chicken. Once you've got the body done, you can make your comb and your waddle for your rooster. You can make these any color you want. I do like to make them red. So right here I am making the comb. I fold it over my red batting and I am just stabbing that along the shape of the comb that I want. Once I've got that fairly firm, I'm going to hold it between my finger guards and stab along the edge so the edge gets nice and firm and shaped. Stab a little extra deep in a li two little parts so it makes sort of a comb effect there. You want to leave the bottom loose so that uh, you have some... Uh, batting to stab that into the head. Then you just stab that into the head along the curve of the top of the head. To make the waddle, you take a tiny bit of your same colored batting as your comb and you're going to make an oval shape and you're going to stab along the edges of your oval and then along each side of your oval in a half circle up and down the middle and around 
around the edge. You want to leave the middle free because that's the part you're going to attach to your chicken. So don't stab that. You'll stab that when you're attaching it to the chicken. And then once again, you're going to hold that between your finger guards and stab around the edges to get those nice and circular and firmly felted. Then you're going to fold it in half, find the middle, and stab that middle into the spot where you want the waddle to be. And as you're stabbing it down the middle line, it's going to naturally fold into two parts. Then you're going to take your beak color, you're going to fold that into a triangular shape, and stab that triangular shape, turn it over, stab it again, and then you're going to hold it between your finger guards and stab the edges. Stabbing down fairly firmly along the point that gets your point, the point of your beak even more pointy. Leave the back side loose so that you have loose fiber to attach it to the body of your chicken. Continue to stab along the edges until it's nice and firm. You can trim off some of those loose ends if you have too many. And then you're going to attach it to your head by just firmly stabbing in all those loose ends. Once you've got all those pieces attached to your head, you might want to stab a little around your head to make that uh, more head shaped again. And now you can add your color. I'm going to do a variegated blue into a green. And I'm going to start with blue at the top of the head and work my way down into the green. So you can choose whatever color you want here and just cover your entire body with your color.
once you've got your body all covered with the color that you want, make sure you've got that all completely felted in, and you can start with the eyeballs. I like to make my eyeballs out of the white. I've got some white here. Don't need very much. it around into a ball. I decided I had a little bit too much there. Took a little bit more away. It is going to be a little smaller once you get it all felted, but not too much. So I'm going to initially felt a, just a little bit on the felting pad, leaving a tail to attach it. And then I'm going to make sure I get the eyeballs a similar size comparing them first before I attach them. Make sure you leave that little tail to attach. And then you can just take your eyeball and attach your tail into the head of your rooster. You can sort of move your eyeball around so that you can get those tails attached underneath your eyeball. Once you get all those tails attached, then you can start felting the eyeball so that it's more firm. You want to felt that from all directions, around and around from each direction to keep it a circle, to keep it a ball shape. And then you do the same thing with the other eyeball right next to your first eyeball. Attach your tail underneath the eyeball first all tucked in and firmly attached and then you can go around this eyeball the same way just stab that from every direction all over in a circular pattern until the eyeballs are nice and firm and in the placement that you want them to be now we're going to add a tiny eyeball iris to the eyeball. Just need a tiny little bit of the black and just stab that into the middle until it forms its very own dot. And then you can stab around the edge just a little bit to get those whiskies. But you can just make a dot by continually stabbing in the middle. And then you can decide what color spots want on your chicken. Here I'm trying a bunch of different colors. I decided I didn't like any of those and I'm going to go with this nice bright purple. Stab in the middle first and then start stabbing around the edges until you have a nice round spot. Always stab in the middle first. That's uh, what's going to help make your circle. And I like to make my circles all different sizes in just random places. So I'm going to make big ones and middle, medium sized ones and little ones. And they're going to be all over the chicken. And that's about it for tonight. I will add polka dots all around the whole body of the chicken. And then I'll probably add a weight to the bottom of him so he stands by himself.